Hello, my name is Heather and I am a registered nurse with the diabetes program. I'd like to welcome you to the adult type 2 diabetes video series. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about sick day management. Just a few reminders as you watch this video series. We encourage you to watch the videos in order. And just remember, you can go back and watch the videos as often as you'd like. Fraser Health On the Road to Diabetes Health is a great resource to accompany this video series. And remember, you can pause the video at any time if you would like to spend a little bit more time reviewing the information. We would like to acknowledge that our work occurs on the beautiful, traditional, ancestral, and unceded territories of the First Nations of the Interior Region. We also recognize the Métis Nation and the contributions of the Métis peoples to the Indigenous ways of being and knowing on this land. We're going to talk about sick days and diabetes, how to prepare for those sick days, what to do when you're actually sick, and when is it time to get some help? Did you know a bad cold, the flu, having surgery or a serious illness can affect your blood sugar levels? There's also a risk of becoming dehydrated if you've been vomiting, have diarrhea, a fever, or even exposure to extreme heat or humidity and you're not drinking enough fluids. It's important to plan ahead to know how to manage those sick days before you are sick. We recommend that you speak to your healthcare team about how to prepare for those sick days. You'll want your healthcare team to give you advice about your medications while you're sick. Also, know that being sick can lead to unstable blood sugars, so we recommend monitoring your blood sugars more often while you're ill. It's important to stay hydrated while you're sick. Try drinking eight to 10 glasses of sugar-free or low sugar fluids. Some ideas to consider are clear soups or broth, water, diet soda, such as ginger ale, or caffeine-free tea. Try to limit your caffeine from coffee, tea, or soda drinks, as these items can make your dehydration worse. If you can't eat your usual foods, try having one of the following. A half a cup of regular juice or pop, a half a cup of regular jello, six soda crackers, or one slice of toast, or half a cup of applesauce. Each of these options are 15 grams of carbohydrates. It's important to know when it's time to get help with your blood sugars when you are sick. We recommend that you call your healthcare team or go to the emergency department if you have any of the following and are not getting better. Vomiting, diarrhea, stomach pain, frequent urination, extreme thirst, weakness, difficulty breathing, or a fever. Also, if your blood sugars are staying above 20 millimoles per liter for longer than eight hours, you should seek out your healthcare team for advice. Thank you for watching Sick Day Management video. We encourage you to view the remaining videos for more information about living well with type 2 diabetes.